We've got the Twins and the White Sox and starting things off here just a couple pitches into the game by a guy making his MLB debut for the Twins. Jake Lamb is going to put this change up into the right field bleachers as that's going to be a 1-0 White Sox lead. The White Sox have dominated the Twins this season and they look to continue that as now in the top of the third. You guys, Monty Grandal, he's going to get that hanging curveball and he's going to hit that one into right field as well for a two-run homer. You guys, Monty Grandal, he has been fairly cold as far as batting average he's gotten on base a ton of times draws an insane amount of walks but for whatever reason he's been crushing the twins this year speaking of crushing miguel snow he turns on this one lance lynn left it a little too high the one he's able to turn on that get his hands through on a 3-2 count that one would be a homer a lot he didn't even catch full barrel that time as he just put that one into the seats and then it's to know later in the bottom of the six against lynn again this time a fastball outside he's still going to extend his hands 3-2 count again and hit this one dead center so Miguel Sano when he's able to make contact some dangerous things can happen for the opposition and now he's going to be up against Aaron Bummer and he's going to do it a third time another fastball this time on a 1-1 count so Miguel Sano first career three homer game have yourself a day Miguel Sano as now it makes it a tie game 4-4 he's given the twins a chance to win he has been struggling bad this year but finally has been heating up in a big way. And finally, in the bottom of the ninth, the Twins finally beat their rival White Sox for the first time this season. 97 miles per hour, laced into the corner. Jorge Polanco is your walk-off hero. Three homers by Miguel Sano. Jorge Polanco coming up in the clutch. And the Twins win their first game of the year against the White Sox 5-4. That's a big one.